I'm standing in the spot where that shootout happened last week and people who know the undercover investigator who was shot in that incident say that he has a long road to recovery and they're hoping this GoFundMe helps him with that. Blurry cell phone video shows the moments after an undercover Racine County Sheriff's investigator was involved in a shootout with a man who officials say went on a killing spree Tuesday, July 13th. Racine County Sheriff Christopher Schmaling says it started around 7.30 a.m. at the Pilot Gas Station on Highway K, where Schmaling says the shooter, 32-year-old John McCarthy, shot and killed 22-year-old Anthony Greiger of Elkhorn, then tried to steal Greiger's car but couldn't drive it. The sheriff said that he then drove two miles east of the Mobile Gas Station in Franksville, where he shot at the undercover investigator, getting gas before heading into work. This guy had no idea who he was dealing with whatsoever. The sheriff says McCarthy and the investigator got into a shootout, hitting each other several times. Officials say McCarthy then shot himself. Angie Sadowski says she personally knows the investigator and started a GoFundMe for his family. When you talked to him at all, did he sound like in the moment like he was scared of what was going on or did he just jump right in? He action? didn't have time to think. Other officers and deputies made comments to him as well about, I think I would have froze. Sadowski says the investigator is humble about the incident and says he was just doing his job. He acted on instinct and training and that's it. Anybody else would have been dead and who knows how far it would have gone down the road. Now, Sadowski says that that GoFundMe, even though the sheriff's office is going to be covering this investigator's uh, medical expenses as well as his workers' comp, the GoFundMe is to help the rest of his family because his wife had to take off work to stay home and help him. Uh, so this should help him during his long road to recovery. We also have a link on our website uh, to the GoFundMe for the 22-year-old who was shot and killed in this incident. Reporting in Racine County, I'm Caroline Reinwald, WYSN 12 News.